covered in space dust. This place does not get a lot of foot traffic. Just a little hack through this next door without waking anybody up. Sure, anything. Most of the power in this place is being diverted to that single room. Crashing through their airlock didn't wake up the robot guard dogs. Maybe they're here to keep something in. Not out. Widow, who had her own chair that no one was allowed to sit in ever, rolled her eyes at Iron Man. There's nothing in your toilet, Stark. Iron Man raised a finger grandly, shaking it at Black Widow. Ah, 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 have you looked? I'm not looking in your toilet, Black Widow replied seriously. Then you can't say there's nothing in it, can you, Iron Man snapped. Unable to stand there arguing any longer, Thor got up from the dining room table where he'd been eating a huge feast fit for a king or a god. He slammed his hands on the table. I will go look if it will stop this arguing. We'll stay here, Captain America said, pointing to himself and Dr. Banner, who nodded in agreement. I'll pass. Captain Marvel plopped down on the couch next to Dr. Banner. Iron Man and Black Widow followed Thor to Iron Man's private bathroom trying to look over the God of Thunder's huge shoulders. When Thor got to the door, he carefully reached for the doorknob, turning it slowly in his muscled fist. Iron Man lowered his visor and closed his eyes. Black Widow put her hand on her gun holster, just in case. Bingo. at all. You're alive. Tony. What are you... What is all this stuff? Where am I? <laughs> Tony? Are you hugging me? What? No. I just didn't watch you fall. Then why aren't you letting go? I just... We thought... I mean, I thought that... Good to have you back, Captain. 
I'm so confused. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. Did he survive? Tarleton? Who cares? What? The explosion. He was too close. He survived. Thanks to you, apparently. And Monica, if you believe the news stories. That doesn't make sense. <coughs> okay, I got you. The evacuation. All those people. Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Let's do this. Well, there's the cap I remember. Come on. Okay. What's the plan? Uh, well, we find an escape pod and, uh, escape. You're winging this, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Actually, didn't think I'd make it this far. <sighs> Tony, where is everyone? Where's here? Oh, well, we're in space. My God. You weren't kidding. Nope. <laughs> wow. Like riding a bike, I guess. It's down from here. You ready to jump? <laughs> Tony. What's... What's happening? Well, it's a long story. your standards is just a power nap. I'm starting to think people just prefer me on ice. See? You're already making jokes. Corny ones. But that's normal for you. Monica, long time no seek. Can't imagine your buddy Tarleton was too thrilled about using superhero blood to replace superheroes. He leaves the details to me. Stop what you're doing. Now. Wait a minute. Georgie doesn't know about any of this. And he never will. Uh-oh. I think we made her mad. Tony! I'm working on it! All right, got it. Let's go. What the hell? Oh, don't mind the killer robots. Hurry! Get it open! I'm trying! For a dead guy, you're really pushing. I'm gonna have to brute force this thing. Why didn't you start with that?
almost there, Cap. Almost there, Cap. Almost there, Cap. is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. <sighs> well, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn it. So close. <sighs> well. Since we're gonna die anyway, you have any, I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I read your diary. <laughs> Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. It's the earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas Fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? What the hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day? I expect nothing less from the God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. This was your regenerative formula. George? How long have I been your lab rat? I knew you'd react like this. You'd rather die than need something from them. I trusted you. You saved your life. You can control machines with your mind. Just think of you all the... You infected me with his blood. It could have killed me. But it didn't. Remember the dream, George. How could you make me one of them? I made you strong. You stole my hope. And now... I am going to give you the same odds that I had. <laughs> I will rip the Earth of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. Oh. Oh. 
hurt you. Hey there, old friend. Steve. Nat. God, it's good to see you. Listen, if I had known you were alive, that they had you, this isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? Ada. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. But that thing in the bay, that was unexpected. The heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? I don't know. Nat, I... I just keep thinking. If I hadn't... All those people... No. This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I knew it. Sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. Welcome back, Captain Rogers. I know I speak for everyone when I say that you are a sight for sore eyes. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. We are preparing for our final confrontation with AIM. I have completed my analysis of Mr. Stark's plans to equip the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and will need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Excellent, sir. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts due to AIM's draconian control over world communication networks. How can we help? They have requested we destroy AIM's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Speaking of the media, reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex-AIM scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping up on the news. This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. Let's get Thor on this ASAP. Gotta get this installed. I'm a bit out of shape. You'd be proud of what S.H.I.E.L.D. has become. Wish you could be here to see it. Ah, oh yeah. Much better than a cryopod. Um, 
Captain America? Wow, okay. I never, ever thought I'd actually get to work with you. Can I say that again? <laughs> well, I'm just a regular Joe from Brooklyn. All uh, right. <laughs> just a regular Captain America. <laughs> I wanted to say thanks. Uh, what for? Well, sounds to me like you're the reason the Avengers are back. And that I'm standing here right now, so... So I wanted to thank you for that. Sure thing. I mean, happy to, um... Assemble the Avengers! <laughs> Anytime. So, you ready for this? Yeah. I, I mean, no. Sort of. That feeling never really goes away. You just have to trust yourself. And know we'll have your back when you need it. Thanks. Maybe I should ask Thor to help me decorate. I got a lot of catching up to do. No further information on the extraordinary meteor shower witnessed in the night skies over much of the Midwest early this morning. With the Avengers active again, many are understandably watching the sky with concern. But an astronomy expert from AIM has assured us that the phenomena like today's, while rare, are perfectly normal. And in this case, the public was free to, and I quote, enjoy the show. are sold here. You'll be back. This I know. Want a new look? I can help. All right, fine. But you're going to come back. <laughs> 